welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is part four in my series Sky Vector Vore to Vore Flight Planning and we have left Williams and we are now on our way to Red Bluff and as you can see we are 28 miles from Williams and it's probably time to switch over and pick up the Red Bluff Vore. So let's set our NAV1 radio to Red Bluff, which would be 115.7. And let's just do it this way, 115.7. Switch it over, and let's bring that in so we're going directly to it. So we want a 3-3 heading. We'll switch over to NAV1. And now we're going to continue on. And as you can see, we have 32.7 miles to, we're on the NAV1 radio here, to Red Bluff. We could switch this over to NAV2 radio, and you can see that we are actually 30 miles from Williams. So this is your DME, Distance Measuring Equipment. All right, we'll pick this up just before we get to Red Bluff. All right. We're 6.7 miles from Red Bluff, so let's set up our NAV2 radio to our next waypoint, which is going to be Redding, and that's 108.4. So let's set this up to 108.4. And what's the course? Let's take a look at the course. We want to turn to a heading of 336, just a couple of degrees. So let's set this to 336, which is going to be right about there. Uh, not a big change. So when we get to the Red Bluff War, we can switch over to NAV 1. All right, we're 1.6 miles away from Red Bluff. So let's watch our needles go crazy. We've got NAV2 set to 108.4. Let's switch that over to the active frequency. Once we cross over the VOR, in just a minute, we're starting to wiggle around a bit. Let's go ahead and switch to NAV2 right now to take the from. It's going to switch over to from here in just a second, 0.9 miles. So let's watch for the two. We went to from. And we are now on our way, navigating with NAV2, and we are going to Redding. So we'll pick this up just before we get to Redding. Now there's one thing we need to know here, and that's we're not going to go into the Redding Airport. We have to stay out of their airspace. It's five miles away from there. So before we get there, we are going to go fly, just visual flight rules, we will go off the autopilot and fly manually. We'll make a little left turn, go out around Reading Airport, and we will land at Benton Field. All right, we're seven miles from Reading Airport. We need to turn off the autopilot, and we're going to make a left turn because at five miles that's Reading airspace and we do not want to be in their airspace. So let's just set the altitude here and I'm going to do this with the autopilot, I'm sorry, just so we're not bouncing all over the place. So I'm going to go to heading. But notice how I did that. This is the heading bug here wherever I set this and we put the autopilot on and then it's going to follow wherever I put that little orange bug. So if you just want to fly manually, kind of, sort of, with the autopilot, you can click on the heading button, hold your altitude, and then you can fly this way. And now, gosh, I don't recommend this for flying. It's no fun just to sit there and do autopilot. All right, so now we're, f we're a little west of the Reading Airport. Benton Field is right up in this neck of the woods here. There's that little lake I was telling you about. So we just want to keep flying in this direction. So how do you communicate at an airport that does not have a tower? How do you notify other pilots? Now let's just take a look at something we can do here. I'm going to pause the simulator here. And let's go to 
airnav.com and there you would type in the airport you want Benton Field in this case 085 and we can come down here and see that they have a Unicom frequency so you tune your radio your com radio to 122.8 and you can communicate with other pilots coming into Benton Field so how do you land at Benton Field we come down to the runway information and here we see they have runway 15 and 33 and the traffic pattern how we get to the runway is right here runway 15 it looks like they have a right pattern in runway 33 they have a left pattern now what exactly is a pattern so let's take a look at the pilot's handbook for aeronautical knowledge you can download this in a PDF file and this is going to show you here on page 13 traffic patterns so this here is a standard left hand pattern the red and that's what we're going to be doing at Benton because we're coming into runway 33 so this is runway 33 we are going to go out to Keswick Dam, turn around, we will enter the downwind leg, then we will turn base, and then we will turn final. So what altitude do we need to be at when we enter the pattern? Well, let's take a look at airnav.com again, and they give us runway information. It is 718 feet is above sea level, so we want to add a thousand to that. So we should come in at 1,700 feet to enter the pattern. So I'm going to continue on here. I will go up to Keswick Dam and turn, and then I will enter the pattern, and I'll show you how that's done. And here's Benton Field right over here. So we're going to come right around here, fly around here, downwind, base, and final. And that'll be it. So I'll pick this up on the downwind. So here we are at Keswick Dam. We're going to call now Benton Traffic, Skyhawk, 84 Delta Lima, at Keswick Dam, inbound to land, runway 33. Now we've notified people of our attention that we want to land at 33. We'll continue inbound. When we get to the downwind, we will have to announce that again to uh, Benton Traffic. So I'll pick it up there. All right, we're coming in for downwind. We're going to make a little turn here, and we're going to make a call. Benton traffic, Skyhawk, November 84, Delta Lima, downwind for 33 Benton. So we're turning downwind. Get parallel with the runway. About halfway through, when we get about the middle, we want to start our descent. So we're going to put the carburetor heat on, and we're going to start our descent. When we get the runway about 45 degrees behind us, if we look out the window, we want to see it about 45 degrees back there. Add some flaps. And we're going to turn base. And we have to call our base as well. So that's looking pretty good. Benton traffic. Skyhawk November 84 Delta Lima. Turning base. 3-3 three, three Benton. So we'll continue our turn. Continue our descent. And now we are on our base. And we take a look over. There's Benton. Benton traffic, Skyhawk November 84 Delta Lima, turning final, 3-3 three, three Benton. Hopefully we can get this lined up and land this thing properly. We're a little high.
And there you have it. I know there's stuff I didn't explain, but I wanted to focus on just the navigation and the landing here at Benton Field. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, please click the like button. If you'd like to leave a comment, that'd be great. And thank you again so much for watching, and God bless.